Hi, I'm Josh Beck, a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. Welcome to our third edition of Learning Linux. We have a computer lab here in San Antonio, Texas that runs the KUBuntu distribution of the Linux operating system. We've got something really neat for you this week. Without further ado, here's one of my students, Connor Veal. Hi, I'm Connor Veal, and I'm going to show you the greatest Unix command of all time, eject. So here's how you run the eject script on one computer. Eject. Now, I've devised a, uh, you could say evil script, um, on how to make eject run on multiple computers simultaneously. Another fun script that you can use to uh, cause a big hubbub in the room is Reboot. Normally, when you try to SSH onto a computer, it prompts you for a password. However, if you try to execute a single command over the network, the password stops you from doing that. Our first step is to make generate public-private key pairs. The computers can recognize each other without a password. As long as you keep your private key safe, and you can give out your public key to anyone, and it will be secure. Now that we've generated the RS8 key pair with SSH keygen, this is a screenshot of what the SSH folder in the root directory looks like. SSH keygen has now generated two files, idrsa and idrsa.pub. If you give the idrsa.pub to someone and put it in their root.ssh directory, you'll be able to go on without a password to their computer. Actually, we need to append the .pub file to a file called authorized keys and transfer that file to the other computer. Now that we have passwordless authentication on all the computers, we can finally make all the CD drives pop out with this script. <laughs> Thanks for watching Learning Linux. Keep an eye out for the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.